Hello and welcome back to Infinitude. This is the View Fundamental Series Part 7 Methods and Computed Properties. Let's dive into the VS Code. At first, let's create a new component. Let's give it a name Computed Property dot view and in this i will use the view snippet that is v base and let's give it a name computed property and then let's give here a h1 tag with a message that is computed property and then let's register this in the app component I'll just collapse this and then at first we have to import let's import and then we will use the computed property slash components slash that is the computed property I'll just copy this comment out paste over here and let's use the component name as in custom tag and then let's open the terminal control tilde and I will use the npm run serve enter now let's go to the browser here we can see the computed property. Now let's go to the VS code and then let's go to the computed property. At first, let's create a data that is data function and then we have to return. And now I will create a view instance that is cart and let's initialize with the zero. I'll go to the HTML. And then let's create a s2 tag and then i will use the curly presses let's use the cart over here cart let's go to the browser here we can see the cart is zero now i will create button with the event handling that is other it click if you haven't seen the event handling tutorial then you can find that link in the i button and even in the description let's create a button and then let's give it a name add to cart and add the right click event add to cart I'll just copy this and then let's create a method that is methods colon and then parenthesis you can create functions using ES6 or ES5 at first I will use the ES5 that is add to card I'll just paste that colon and then function parenthesis and then curly braces this dot card plus plus what it will do is it will increment the card by one now let's go to the HTML let's create a button and then let's give it a name remove from cart and now let's use the other it click event remove from cart I'll just copy this and let's create another method that is remove from card this time I will use the ES6 just parenthesis and then curly braces this dot cart minus minus by this way we can create a method now let's go to the browser here we can see cart is zero and then button that is add to cart and remove from cart let's press that to cart here we can see the cart is increased by one let's just press and if we click the remove from card button it has decreased the number and let's decrease one more time 
let's go to the VS code now this time I will create another div and inside that div I will create a level and let's give it a name that is first name and then I will create a input tag and inside which I will just see model and then let's give it a name first name and then I will use the PR just to break that and let's create another level and let's give it a name last name and let's create another input and inside this I will use the the model and then last name like that PR. I'll just copy this and let's create a view instance empty string just alt and shift to duplicate that and then copy this and I'll just paste that now let's go to the browser here we can see the first name and last name with the corresponding inputs let's go to vs code now this time we will create a computed property for the cart and then for the names in the cart what we will do is we will show that if it is available in the stock or not let's create a computed property comma and then computed common in this we will define a function that is stock status okay and then I will check if this dot cart is exactly equals to zero then we will return a string that is not in stock and then we will go else return in stock if the cart has the value zero then it will show not in stock and for else it will show in stock now we have to print let's first copy this and let's go to the html and now i will create a s3 tag and then curly braces and then just paste and then let's go to the browser the card is zero so it is showing not in stock what if we add in the card and it will show them in stock what the computed property does is it will keep the value as in cache and if there is some changes with that value it will update that value and show let's create another computed property for the first name and last name where we will print out the full name for that let's create a level full name and I will create a just a p tag and where I will create a computed property that will be I will just define the name full name and then I'll just copy this and let's go to the JavaScript and then in here I will create another function that is full name and then here I will return this dot first name plus just a empty string and then plus this dot last name let's go to the browser here we can see the first name and last name let's give it a first name Alex and then let's give it a last name Costa Alex Costa here we can see the computed property has print out the first name and last name by combining let's go to the view developers tool and then let's go to the computed property component and then here we can see the first name Alex last name Costa and the 
computed property that is full name has the Alex and Costa. Let's go over to the stock status that is currently not in stock. Let's increase the cart. Here we can see the stock status has changed to in stock and over here also. By this way, we can define the methods and then we can create a computed property. Thanks for watching guys. If you like this video, then don't forget to like, comment and then if you haven't subscribed, then subscribe and hit the bell notification. In the next video, we will discuss about form handling.